Now we're definitely recording. All right, so today we are going to talk about parabolas. So we're covering section 7.1. So quick reminder. Um, so over the weekend, I looked <laughs> at the uh, those videos for the test on Thursday. And here's what I think I'm going to do. I'll just mention this really quickly before we get into parabolas. Um, I was told they would ha help me write, the testing center would help me write the um, test. So I'm going to, I think this is what I'm going to do. I, I'm a little bit worried about tech problems. And so rather than giving you the typical 60 minutes, I'm going to go 75 minutes. So you should really be done with with it in 60, but I'm going to give you an extra 15 minutes just so you um, don't have any tech problems. Um, so it is going to be timed. I think I can open it up all day, but what I would prefer is for you to um, take it between the hours of 9 to 10 or 10, 15, I guess. Um, and I think... M I think most of you, it should be done in 60 minutes easily. And I think most of you aren't going to have tech problems, but um, I'm going to give an extra 5%, which is well, 5% on 100. If you take it between the hours of 9 to 10 a.m. on Thursday, I will probably uh, allow you to um, uh, take it all day. So I'll probably have it open from say 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. or something like that. Probably. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Um, so if you have a problem, you can't take it at nine o'clock. That's fine. You can take it at noon or whatever, whatever time is good for you. Um, just realize you, you get 75 minutes. So if you start it at eight o'clock p.m., you're only going to get 60 minutes because the it ends at nine. Uh, so these are going to be time tests. Um, I know some teachers make a big deal about not everybody can print. If, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know how this is going to work because there's still, nobody's answered my questions, but um, basically I don't care if you print it out. I would prefer that you um, print it out and then upload it. Um, from what I understand with Proctorio, it's going to say, here's my ID, and you'll put it in your camera like this and be like, here's my ID. It's going to watch you the whole time, make sure you're not cheating, basically. And um, But it'll be submitted on Canvas. And so uh, anyway, I, I'm trusting that this is going to work. But we'll see how it goes. Nobody's answered any of my questions. So, any questions about the test on Thursday? Please so, have a review. So, yeah, I've actually posted the review already. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, so, okay. I posted the review. It's in the exam reviews. Uh, so, today we're going to cover 7.1, which is parabolas. Tomorrow we're going to cover 7.2, which is ellipses. Wednesday will be our review day, just like normal. Um, and so... I, I got the review done really early this time, amazingly. So uh, Wednesday will just be kind of a question and answer thing. You can, guys can ask me any questions on the review. So if you want to get started on it, you should be able to do everything uh, except for ellipses tomorrow, but and we'll, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. So, so any how other will questions? The, yeah, how will the test CR work? Is it through the camera? How will the what work? Like the test CR work. Does that make test sense? Test CR? Yes, because you what do the CR quizzes multiple for? C, like S-E-E -E space O-U-R, C, our work. Well, how will I see your work? Yes. Um, so basically what's going to happen, if you have a scanner, I would prefer that you scanned in your test. If not, just take a picture with your phone and upload the picture of every page, and then I will grade it just like a paper test. So make sure, uh, so you will need, you know, your phone, you can take a picture of the of your test, all your work, 
and then you upload the pictures. Um, sometimes those pictures are a little harder to read than scanning, but either way, uh, if you can scan it, great. Most people are probably just going to use their phone, take a picture of it, and then you'll have a copy of it. So, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one more question. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, so do we have to scan it and upload it within our time frame? Like within, within the time, minutes. within 75 yeah. minutes, you want to upload? So so normally, so here, here's the way it works. I'm going to give you 60 minutes just like normal. And then the last 15 minutes is what you should be t using for your time to get to upload it. And uh, so I'm, I'm giving you the extra 15 minutes just for, for tech problems, basically. Okay, awesome. Thanks. So that's why it's a little bit longer. Any other questions about the test? All right, well, let me show you. So we're going to start on um, 7.1, which is on parabolas. I have a really cool uh, animated GIF here on how to make a parabola. And so here we go. To create a parabola. Okay, we have a focus, you have a directrix, and, and then you have a line that is the midpoint. And so you can see here that the distance between the focus and the directrix, the directrix is just this line, this red line here along the bottom. So the midpoint is so the distance between the focus and the vertex of the uh, parabola and the and the distance from the vertex of the parabola to the directrix is exactly the same. Okay, and so um, I think I've told you because we've talked a little bit about parabolas uh, in the past, but um, you could not watch TV without a parabola. Um, so a parabola is basically the shape of every satellite dish. Um, and the TV companies definitely use parabolas. They use satellite dishes. And so, um, so today's lecture is going to be not only can you graph a parabola, but can you find the distance between the focus and the vertex? Okay. So, um, and I guess at this point, now here's where I'm going to pull up my paint. Okay. And we're going to see here. Okay. So if I've got a parabola here, Okay, and I've got a directrix here. Okay, um, and then I've got a focus. Okay, so this distance, maybe I'll use this in red here. This distance here between the focus and the parabola is what we would call the distance P. Yeah, we use P in this book, okay? Now, we've also got this distance here, which I'll use a different color. And so this distance from the focus to there is a distance of 2p, 2p, okay? And of course, this distance is also the same. Whoops, I forgot I wasn't using my pencil tool. This distance from the focus to the edge of the, here, let me finish that. Uh, this distance also is 2p. So therefore, the entire distance, so this green line has a name that most college students think is funny. It's called the lattice rectum. Okay? <laughs> um, and so, uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of the relationship. Of course, also, I should have mentioned, if I go back to red here, this distance from there to there is also a distance of P. Okay. And of course, this line here down at the bottom is called the directrix. Okay. So that's kind of the vocabulary for today's stuff. So let's say Um, okay, so typically, 
the the uh, general form of uh, an equation is we're going to say 4PY equals X squared. Okay. So if you think about this, uh, Y equals X squared, this is going to be a vertical shaped parabola. And so the idea here is this 4P is the distance of your lattice rectum uh, times Y equals X squared. So um, if this is, let's pretend here, um, maybe I'll use purple. Okay. If I use this, sorry, try that again. If I put the axis right here, this is my X, this is my Y axis. Okay. Then, um, so, so I've got my uh, vertex in this case, the vertex is at zero, zero, it's at the origin, okay. Uh, we've also got the focus, which is gonna be at zero comma P, whatever your distance P is, and your directrix is at the equation y equals negative p, okay? And in this case, your parabola opens upward, okay? If p is greater than zero and it opens down if p is less than zero, p is negative essentially, okay? So let's do an example. So I guess maybe I'll just box this. This is kind of your, uh, this is the information that you're going to want to to focus on is is this box, okay? Um, so we're, we're basically 4PY equals X squared. Um, your vertex is at the origin. Your focus is at zero P. Your directrix Y equals negative P. It opens up if P is greater than zero, if P is positive, and it opens down if P is negative, okay? So let's do an example here. Find the equation for the parabola at vertex, I'll spell it out, vertex zero comma zero, and a focus at zero, two. Okay. Now I don't know who's here, especially when I'm sharing my screen. So, um, here, let me look at this. See my participants here. Uh, breezy, we'll pick on you right off the bat. Breezy, oh, they're supposed to say find. Find, find the equation. <laughs> so do you know how to find that equation, Breezy? So we know that P is two because it tells us in our focus. Okay. Um, and we know that Y is zero and X is zero. So okay. if you are we plugging it into that four PY? Perfect. So it'll be four times two. Which is eight. Eight Y equals um X squared. X squared. Perfect. It's nice when you get picked on first and you get the easy question, right? <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right, so that was nice and easy, and you can just leave it in that for formula. You don't have to move the eight over, so you got y equals one eighth x squared. Although that would be a correct answer too, but we'll just so this is kind of your your main formula here. That's going to be your favorite formula for this for this chapter. Okay. All right, let's do another one here. 
I guess it's better if I type things because you won't see this. It's really hard to write on the screen. And oh, by the way, I went to the Office Depot to look for a stylus. And they were $15, and I'm like, uh, I'm not spending $15 for a stylus. All right, so let's say that y equals negative x squared. And I want you to find the focus um, the directrix and graph the equation. Okay. So let's see who is after. I shouldn't go in alphabetical order. Let's go to the bottom. Uh, William Golden, can you help me do this? Yes. Okay. Um, so we'll start with the focus, I guess. Um, okay. So if the top equation y equals x squared. It's negative x squared. Negative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, are we using the graph that you have just there to the left? You can use it as a reference, but that doesn't okay. mean that this listens to the same graph. Okay. Um, well, to find the focus, we just we need to know the uh, the y intercept, I guess, that we're looking at. Uh, and what what equation I guess, are we using? The a y equals negative x squared then? No, that's a different, that's a, that's, that was, that was the, Breezy's problem. So, right. you, can, so you can ignore that. So we're just focusing on the y equals negative x squared? Correct, yeah. Uh, is like the, is the focus, uh, I, what, what, what would it be? I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm stuck then. Okay, so the idea here is the, the equation that I've got circled over here, 4PY equals X squared. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, we want to put this in the same format, okay? okay? So notice we've got a positive on the right side here. One thing we could do is we could move that negative one over, and so I would get negative Y, negative Y, equals x squared. Now you may wonder why I did that, but the idea here is if we're trying to make this look like this equation here, mm -hmm. then um, 4p, 4p has to equal negative 1, correct? Yeah. Okay, and if 4p equals negative 1, what does p equal? Negative 1 fourth equals negative one fourth, okay? Okay, so if P equals negative one fourth, now we can figure out where our focus is. Uh, yeah, it would be at um, X would be zero, Y would be negative one fourth. Zero, negative one fourth, okay? And then, All right. Yeah, with the focus, then we could go and do the diatrix, which is diatrix. negative P, so if P is negative one fourth, the directrix is one fourth. That's correct. So don't just put one fourth though, because your directrix is an, an entire line. Okay. Zero, is it so zero? It's going to be y equals, oh, y equals one fourth. Okay. okay. So yes, yeah, so your your directrix has to be a line. And so that's that's always got to be a y equals. Okay. All right, so we found the focus, we found the directrix, now we need to graph the equation. I'm gonna try very hard to use straight lines here. Okay, so if this is my x-axis, and this is, or my y-axis, this is my x-axis, my vertex, and now I'm gonna have to use my pencil here, okay? So um, help me here, I'm gonna make my, if that's one, one, negative one, 
and negative one. I'm going to make that big so it's a little bit easier. What do I do here? Um, I guess we could start with the parabola itself. I think okay. that vertex is zero, zero, and then it will follow the zero, zero, one, one, two, four type upward progression. No, it won't. Okay. Is it is it going <laughs> to be downward or something? Well, it's going to be well, downward. That's the one negative. thing. But also remember, p equals one negative one fourth. Okay. okay. So it's actually going to be a lot wider. Okay. So if 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 this is my focus, I'm going to put that little line there for my focus. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to make this. Well, this is going to be my directrix. I want to make that a little thinner line. So this is going to be my directrix, okay? okay? And my parabola, it's going to be downward facing. But rather than go through 1, 1, so normally, if it was a y equals x squared, it would go through that point. But come on, undo. I want to undo. There we go. Get rid of it. It's going to be wider. than normal, okay? Now, the other question that I have is, we've got the lattice rectum. Can you tell me what these two coordinates are here? Um, this, is the, this is what connects the, oh, sorry, I, I drew those in the wrong place. Your lattice rectum is actually here, here and here. Because your lattice rectum goes through your focus, and your focus is right there. Okay. And we'll see how good of a job I did drawing them. Don't trust that that, even that looks like one and negative one, but don't trust that that's correct. Okay. Um, so it would be 2P is the relationship between the middle and the, out, the outer okay. edge of the parabola. So I will abbreviate that for uh, lattice rectum. Mm -hmm. The coordinates are would be uh, would it be one half as x and then negative one fourth? That is exactly right. One half is your x and negative one fourth. Yep. And then the, That's the first one, one. and the other one is negative one half. And negative one half. Negative one fourth. And negative one fourth. Okay, so if I drew this even better, I probably drew it a little bit too wide. It shouldn't look like that. Here, I'm going to do it in red this time. It should look like. Get my pencil back here. It should go through here. Okay, so the red the red curve is actually a little bit more correct. Okay, and I'll try to erase my purple one because the purple one wasn't exactly right. Okay. Okay. Pretty good so far. All right, let's do another one. Uh, in fact, this time we're going to do a sideways. This one actually might be a useful thing to save. Would you like me to save this? And then I could post it up in course notes or something. That sounds good. OK. So save as. Uh, Grab one, okay. All right, I'm going to open up a new page here. Okay, so um, now it works. It's going to work the same way if it's horizontal. Or um, so let's do this. Let's say that I have an equation here. Six x plus y y squared equals zero okay and i want you to 
find the focus. And the graph. Graph. Okay. Maybe we'll do the alternating thing here. How about Caleb? Can you help me with that? Um, all right. So you're going to want to get um, the equation just like the, I don't know, the base equation, I guess. That's what right. you call it. Right. Um, so you would subtract 6x. Okay. And you get y squared equals negative 6x, correct? Yep. Okay. And then... That's it? Um, sorry. Well, that was the first step. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. So at this point, we've got x equals a y squared, correct? So yes. can you tell if it opens up, down, left, or right? Um, up. So this is an x equals a y squared. Normally you have a y equals an x squared. A y equals x squared would open up, but this is an x equals a y squared. So it's either okay. going to open left or right. Um, left. It's going to open left. Okay. So I'm going to draw this. Basically, we'll we'll put the scale in a little bit later, but that's exactly correct. It's going to be a sideways parabola in this case. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we'll figure out the scale later on, and we'll make our graph match that. Now, how would you find the focus? Do you know how to find the focus? Spelled directrix wrong. Sorry about that. Um, no. I. Okay, so we're going to treat it exactly the same way. And the idea here is we're going to set 4p equal to negative 6. Okay, so if 4p equals negative 6, what does p equal? Uh, then p equals uh, negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves. That's correct. Okay, <clears throat> so basically on this, um, if I set, let's say this is 1, and this is two, then my focus is going to be about right here. Okay. So what yeah. are the coordinates of my focus at this point? So focus is going to be zero or no. Yeah, wait, zero, negative three halves? No, it's no, going to be negative three halves. Three halves. Zero comma zero. Yeah. Okay. And you know me, I like to graph first because that'll help you. That'll help you keep these, uh, keep track of your coordinates because it's the X coordinates always first. Okay. So if your focus is negative three half zero, what's your directrix? Um, it's going to be, well, since it's, since it's left, since it's opening left, is it going to be x equals 3 halves? That's exactly correct. So, whoops, 3 halves. x equals 3 halves. And so if you were to draw your directrix on here, uh, I'm going to make this at 1, and this is 2, and therefore my directrix, hopefully I can make this a little thinner of a line, is going to be right there. Okay. 
So that's going to be x equals 3 halves. Okay. All right, and then I've already drawn it. So bang, we're done. Okay. Sweet. Maybe I'll put this a little closer. Okay. Well done. Oops. Okay. Good question. All right. Go ahead. Uh, is your directrix always going to be an equal distance apart from the focus? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And so just as a reminder, my little GIF that is still open, that's why the distance between the focus and the directrix is always, the vertex is the midpoint of that. So yes, those, t the red line and the blue line are always equal to the same distance. Okay. So. Do you want us to find the distance of the parabola, like the 2P? The, you, you're talking about the lattice rectum? Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a good question. The book doesn't ask that, but I could. What, what would be the coordinates of the, that, your lattice rectum? So, the, in fact, let's add that on there. The lattice rectum coordinates would be Um, so is it two times three over two? Yes, so that would so two times three over two would be the the twos would cancel, so that would just be three and negative three, right? Yeah, okay, so what are the coordinates? Um, three comma three halves. You got them backwards. Three halves comma three. So negative three halves. Okay. <laughs> comma positive three. That's what this one here. And so if I, if I'm drawing this to scale here, which I didn't, I clearly didn't. So this is one, two, three. And therefore, this is one, two, whoops, sorry, three. <laughs> I didn't draw that very well. Really hard to draw with paint, okay? So the second coordinate is what again? Um, that would be three halves comma three, negative, negative three. Negative three halves. Negative three halves and negative three. That's correct. Okay. All right. Well, we're about out of time. Um, let me let me see if I can do one more really quickly. I won't make you graph this one. What if I told you to find the equation of parabola? with vertex at the origin and focus at zero four. Could you guys do that? But you know, I won't make you draw it, but I got to tell you, I prefer to draw it. Sam, are you on? Is Sam here? Yeah. Sam's here. Yeah. Can you help me do this one? Um, sure. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be uh, it's going to focus you know, four. Say that one one more time. So it's going to be P equals one p equals one Wait. Mm. the focus 
Well, P is going to actually equal a four, right? Because if yeah. you if you've got the the vertex is at the origin, and I'm going up four, right? So yeah, one, two. Oh, sorry, that's not straight. Three, four. So that's going to be four as your distance, right? So we're on the vertical axis, axis. So therefore, my parabola is going to be opening upward. Again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then what? Okay. We've got the formula that is for P. So it's going to be four multiplied by four, and it's going to be sixteen. Sixteen. Y equals y x squared. Equals x squared. Perfect. Okay. All right. So your quiz is going to be on 7.1, which is parabolas. And I guess we're out of time, right? So see you all tomorrow. We will cover 7.2 tomorrow. If you want to start on the review, um, like I said, I posted it early. And um, you can go ahead and get started on that. And then Wednesday will just be a question and answer day. You guys can just ask me questions and then we'll do them. Okay. Do you guys want this page too? Is this helpful? Yes. All right. So I will save this. Prep two. Okay, so I will post those. I'll probably create a new thing uh, called uh, class notes or something like that. And uh, we'll do that. So, all right, we'll see you all tomorrow. And don't forget to take the quiz. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.